this is going to be another question and answer video and this is going to be about is it wrong for a christian married couple not to have children to deliberately uh, keep themselves from having children and I, I don't believe that it is wrong because number one you're not even commanded to get married in first corinthians 7 7 and 8 it says for i would that all men were even as i myself but every man hath his proper gift of god one after this manner and another after that i say therefore to the unmarried and widows it is good for them if they abide even as i so paul is saying here it would be good if people did like he did which is he didn't get married and he says in uh verses 25 and 26 in first corinthians 7 now concerning virgins i have no commandment of the lord yet i give my judgment as one that hath obtained mercy of the lord to be faithful i suppose therefore that this is good for the present distress i say that it is good for a man so to be so he's saying it's good for uh, a person to stay single if they can now if you're not even commanded to get married then you're not commanded to have children. And the main reason for marriage is to avoid fornication and not to have children. It says in 1 Corinthians 7, 1 through 5, Now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. The wife hath not power over her own body, but the husband. And likewise also the husband hath not power over his, of his own body, but the wife. Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time. That may ye, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. So, the first thing was, you're not even commanded to get married. The second thing is, Marriage is, for forn is, is to avoid fornication and not just for the purpose of having children. Because a lot of people believe that, you know, the main reason for, for a man and woman getting together is to have children. But that's not true. And at the same time, I want to say this. Children are a reward. It says in Psalm 127, 3 through 5, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. So children are a reward. And it's very good to have children. I mean, I, I, I would say that it's God's plan for most people to get married and to have children. And the Lord is the one that puts the child in you. The Lord is the one who shuts a woman's womb. He's the one who makes it, you able to conceive. For example, in 1 Samuel 1, 6 and 7, this is talking about Hannah. And it says, And her adversary also provoked her, provoked her sore, for to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did so, year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. So the Lord was the one that was shutting up in his womb. And then the Lord is the one that let her conceive in 1 Samuel 1, 19 and 20. So the Lord is pleased when a child is born. He's the one that opens and closes the womb. Galatians 1, 15. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace... So I believe any uh, form of birth control that actually kills a child that's already been conceived would definitely be a sin. It would definitely be wrong. Of course, we know abortion's wrong. But what is the reason behind why a person doesn't want a child? If it is because they feel like they, they won't have as much money or can't live the fast life that they lived before, then their main problem would be those things themselves and not the fact that they don't feel like they need kids. There are legitimate reasons why a woman wouldn't want to have children with her husband, even in a Christian marriage. For example, a Christian could be married to a lost person, and they're already having trouble in their marriage, 
and don't want to bring a child into it. For example, somebody, a woman could uh, get uh, saved after she's married and maybe her husband stays lost and she doesn't feel like it's a good idea to have a child with that person. You know, there's a legitimate reasons why uh, a person would would want to keep from having children in the marriage and it not be bad. Now, I don't believe that Paul says that you have to have children. And many times for questions such as these, I always say, you know, in the verse Romans 14, 5, where it says, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. It's really between you and the Lord on this, this type of issue. In 1 Corinthians 10, 31, it says, Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. It could be very well true that the wisest decision for you in your marriage would not be to have children. But let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. For me personally, I thought, I mean, it, it was good to have children. And I think for most people, it's good for them to get married and have children for most people. And there are many Christians who believe any form of birth control is wrong. And they believe you should just have as many children as the Lord allows. And that's perfectly fine if they want to do that. I think it's good that they have a lot of children. I just don't think they can use the Bible to say every married couple should have as many children as they can. Because there is legitimate reasons why a person would feel like they shouldn't have a child. Uh, I personally believe it is between the married couple and the Lord on how many children that they're going to have. But if Paul doesn't even say a man or a woman has to get married in the New Testament, because the married, married man careth for the things of the world, how he may please his wife, how can we say they have to have children? They just have to have them. How can we say that? If Paul even says it would be good if you remain unmarried, even. Just because he told... Just because the Lord told Adam and Noah to be fruitful and multiply doesn't mean you must continuously have children today. I mean, both of those guys were needing to be fruitful and multiply so that they could repopulate the planet. In Genesis 35, J Jacob is told to be fruitful and multiply because God's people was going to come from him. But don't forget we're in the New Testament. We aren't so much concerned with having, a, having physical children as we are spiritual children. As Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians 4, 15, he talks about how he, for in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. So everyone has a right to disagree with me. And I, I'm fully aware that many people are going to disagree with me on this topic. And if you do, then great. I hope that, I really hope that you have as many kids as you want. I hope the Lord blesses you with 50 kids or better. I mean, I have kids. I think it's good to have kids. I think it's good for most people to have kids, but I don't feel like I can just go to a person and tell them that they have to have children to be right with God. And I never go to the other extreme either. For example, some people say you shouldn't have kids because we're in the last days and times are so hard and we shouldn't bring people into this world. I don't agree with that philosophy either. That's unbiblical too. So we shouldn't tell people not to have kids just like we shouldn't forbid them to marry for example in first timothy 4 3 it actually caused it a doctrine of a devil to forbid somebody to marry you know it's really not my business to tell somebody that they must have a bunch of kids or to not have kids that's between the lord and the married couple and there are things where you know if you, there's legitimate reasons why it wouldn't be wise for a married couple to have a child so that's my view on it. I know a lot of people disagree, but I believe that's the, the biblical view on it is it's great to have children. I think it's God's plan for most people to, for most Christians to get married and have children. But there are legitimate reasons why a Christian would feel like that they shouldn't have children.